Thanks for joining me again. Welcome back to the garage. We're back on the coffee van project. This is episode 15. Can you believe it? In today's episode, what we've got is this front end. We're going to get it yeah, looking nice. We're going to get the bumpers back on again. Then we've got the back bumper on last week. We're going to try and get this front bumper on. This one's a bit more awkward. We've got to adjust it and get it looking right. Also, the plastics that we fixed uh, around the headlights, we're going to have to paint them now. So we're going to paint them and the grill centre, that nice grey, it's like a matte grey that's going to go all the way across the whole front of the van. Got to get all that done. Stick with me on this one. It's going to be a great episode. Let's get stuck in. All right, let's attempt to get these grill rubbers back in again, which are these little mountings that sit in the front there. There's a couple of new washers here as well for that. Bit of lube. This is the Rostov Plus, fantastic stuff. Again, I put links to all the parts in the description and any tools that I've used. These little mountains here, are, I've got a nice 13 mil nut on the back of them. They're going through the front panel, which is pegging on that piece in the middle there that's removable to uh, take the engine out or work on the front of the engine. So it's going through a couple of skins. Looking at it now, doubting yourself. No, don't doubt yourself. You've got it. No, it's definitely that way. Definitely that way. We'll get the old Milwaukee electric ratchet there. Cracking bit of kit. Whiz these up. If you can get it on there. Come on. Put some air around it. Do the same with the other side. Get a washer on it and then that nut up. Get it lined up straight and just pull it up. We're not going to go too mad with it. Two. And here's the bumper, all nicely painted for the second time. <laughs> I'll try not to drop it. We've got the beam brackets. Really pleased with the finish on this. It looks absolutely delightful got the tap and we'll run that down inside these threads just to clean them all up. These have obviously got a little bit of paint in there from when I've sprayed it um, and any rust and corrosion as well. That'll just help the tap go through and I'll do it on all of these I'll clean them all out and then we'll put these beams on there these beam brackets each one of these is different. Like I say, they're all different shapes. So if you mudd muddled them up, then you, you just wouldn't fit the bumper properly. It'd be all over the gaff. I think at some point these have been bashed slightly. So I know I'm gonna have to do a little bit of spacing when we put it all onto the van just to get everything absolutely perfect, which I'll do that with washers. I just space out the uh, the bits and pieces as I go along. We'll just have a quick look, make sure we're doing things right there, and we'll get the rest of these on now. And it's surprising that they're all just slightly different shape, just a, a small amount on each one, which obviously helps out as it goes around the curvature at the front of the van. So I can just whiz these bolts down. They look really nice. These bumpers are absolutely solid, beautiful metal. Got me nuts and bolts. Just drop a bit of lube into all of the threads before we start. Let's bring the bumper in. I think this should be a new form of exercise. You know, forget yoga and Pilates. It's a bit of bumper balancing. There's definitely art to it. All that Whoa. core muscle look. Well, <laughs> core flab. It's a bit of scratch it. I know I'm going to do it. Oh, no. <laughs> There's nobody here to help me today. I'm all on my own. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you loner. We decided to paint this bumper all shiny. It's a little matte. I want to see the most scratchy one. Oh, yeah, that one started. The 
Too far in before it was really tight. I don't want it to be right or too close, so stop the grilling just to see how things are lining up. So I'll we'll have to space this out with some washers. It's just too far in with it all together. I'll drop a few washers in and just space it out a little bit. Oh, finally, I've managed to get, you see up there, I've managed to get two washers in behind each of the top beams there and one behind the main beam there, which now is gonna, pull it all away at the top hopefully give us a bit of clearance looking nice can do these up now it is a bit fiddler these bolts through the front panel are all inside those sections but we can just about get the ratchet up there get the spanner on the front and tweak it all up it's a bit awkward to see it but we can just get him, get him in, get him locked in. And I've got a nice even gap along the front there. Once we've got those end caps on, this is going to fit and look really nice. Like I said, I think at some point it's had a bit of a bash at the front there, which has just bent those irons slightly. Yes, clearance is nice now on the edge of that. It's looking loads better. Let's do them all up and then get the end caps on. You can see this is from the back side. It's a bit tight and fiddly getting past the steering gear and stuff. I've got the ratchet spanner as well, which helps us get into some of those tighter places where your normal spanner's a bit more awkward. These are great. Them ones are a bit more fiddly to get at. We'll just work his way along doing each one of these beams, locking them all into place. And we've nearly got it, we've nearly done them all. All spaced out with washers as we've gone along to keep that gap the same all the way down the line. Finally, we've got to just do these, nip these 13 mils up on the back of the bumper here. They're just a little bit loose. I'm not sure if you can see them, but we'll get you up there anyway and have a look. Again, these are really fiddly to get at. And I'm glad I got my uh, Milwaukee demolition gloves on there, protecting my knuckles, because um, they definitely would have lost a bit of skin working my way along these. You could get a better view of it from this side. I've just, I mean, the, the, they've only got a little bit to go. I've pretty much got them all done up. They're just taking that last bit just to uh, finish them off. But you can't get much purchase on them. They've only got a little bit of spin. But there we go. Wonderful. Haha, <laughs> there it is. All on. That was a job, wasn't it? But at least it's all straight and looking nice. So we'll get these end caps and we can slide them in. They just slide in at the front across that metal beam and then fasten from the side into the, the step where, in the side where you stand on them. There's this fixing at the front there, a bolt that goes through. I've got a nice new shiny bolt to go through there. 
And we'll put a little nut on the back. Yeah, if you get your hand in. Oop, today's it. Try again. <laughs> now I've put the cap on, I can't actually see it. I'm just doing it all by feel. Oh, it is. Bingo. And then there's this second bolt here that goes through the side panel there into the wheel arch. And we can whiz that one on. Just make sure that's up nice and tight. And we'll whiz the one down on the top as well. That's that one nicely whizzed up. You can see that one's in nice and tight there. And one at the bottom which feeds through and then we'll put a bolt head on, on the back of that as well. Somewhere there. Yeah, let's whiz that up, get that up nice and tight. Ready to be stood on. Solid. Beautiful. We'll do the same with the other side. We'll get all those whizzed up. Make sure it's on. Good and strong. Looking, shining, lovely. Just finish those bolts off there. That one in the top. Beautiful. Keep saying that and all. All right, let's take these. Got these light units, we're gonna to have to get them out. This one looks like it's broken in, so I'm gonna to have to fix that as well. But let's get it out of this mountain so we can spray it. These little lights are just held in with three screws through the back. I have got to do a little bit of a repair on them. The plastic's cracked in a couple of places, but we can do that in a bit. We'll just whip them out of these plastic shrouds for now. We'll just whiz on to the second one. Same thing again. Three screws out the back and we'll have that light out. We're ready to do some work on it. Okay. Right, we're all here, ready for a bit of paint. We're just gonna mask and tape off the grill. Give these a quick one so we'll be wet and dry and uh, hopefully that should be enough to get this show on the road. We'll just give these a quick rubbing down which is gonna lift off any little divots and pits and pieces and yes, just imperfections that we don't want getting into his paint. Also just give the paint something to adhere to, It'll just give it a little bit of something to dig its teeth into. I'm not going to go too mad with it, just a quick rough of her. Once that's on, we can get this masking paper, some masking tape, and we can mask off on this grill the bit that we need to cover, just so we can, we only want to put that grey line down, down the centre where the louvers are. So we'll put masking tape on the top, masking tape on the bottom, create yourselves a nice a nice line there exactly the same width as the the plastics for the headlight covers either side and when that's all painted out the same gray it'll look it'll look really nice just watch my foot oh dear don't 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 trip over that and pull it all off the oh, that was close wasn't it could have been another disaster then bumpers all over the floor again we'll do the same thing with this get that wet and dry on there and just flat it off, get rid of any little high spots on there. Because we did give it a good a good coating of paint. So we'll get that all flat flatted back ready for some nice new fresh grey top coat to go on the top of that. Give it a quick dry down. Just wipe it off. 
and we'll get the uh, heat blower on there as well just to warm it up and get rid of any any moisture that's still on the on the top of that we've got the 2k paint in the SATA gun HVLP gun 42 psi I just get the jet right get the get it coming out nice let and then we'll just put a nice dust a nice coating on to start with dust a nice layer onto this plastics to key it in and we'll build that layer up and we'll build it up nice and slowly and we'll give this a good three or four coats or more depending on how much paint we've got in the, in the hopper we'll just keep going over it again just gently goes gently she goes one coat at a time just dusting it on to start with let that dry we'll get the heat gun on it and we'll dry it down and we'll go again and just keep building it up I'm not too sure on the plastics they've got paint on them but I don't know how the paint's going to react so if we go with a real light coating and then dry it off we'll see if there's any reaction happening but as it looks I don't think there is any it looks okay I'll get the light on there and have a real good look at it make sure everything's going on okay and when we can really flag some paint on it get a decent coat on this you can see it building up now it's getting better we'll dry it off and then repeat the process again just keep drying it layering it building it up until we get a really nice finish we'll get our spray gun back again and uh, layer it up once more let's get some more paint on there we'll just keep on going until we've got nothing left in the hopper that's pretty much my plan just keep building it up you can really see that shine starting to come through now in the paint and we'll get the heat gun there again just get that down get it going off nice this is actually a satin colour So when we peel all this off, we should be left with a, a kind of flat looking finish, but it's, it should be a really nice, smooth, oh look at that coming off there, beautiful. There's something about peeling masking tape off, fresh paint, look at that, that's lovely. Well, again, come from underneath and we'll just peel this masking paper off this is this has not been gone off very long but long enough I don't want to let it go too long and then try and peel the tape off you sometimes stand a chance of it peeling the paint away so um, just when it's gone off a little bit we can peel this off now I'm really pleased with how that looks got a really nice line down there and we can move on to the badge that's going to go on the front of the grill so I've got some black paint here then I'm going to just go all the way around the edge of the plastic there so all the blacks is going to look really nice really nice and shiny I just go around all the outside of it and then we'll get some silver once that's dried we'll mix a bit of this silver up yeah that looks about right and then we'll paint that on the top try and go carefully though not to get it on the black or as, as best we can with my little brush and that should look as good as new when it's done with a bit of look need a steady hand for this though and that's some I've not got my hand shakes all over the gaff it's yeah it's not very good but yeah here we go look that's not looking too bad it certainly looks better than it did let's put it that way the line goes from strength to strength can you remember that one We'll get that riveted now back onto the front of this new grill. And now you take it away and you put it on there. That looks super, doesn't it? I've got some nice fresh rivets to pop through. These are dead small, really tiny small rivets. So they've not got a lot of a lot of pull on them, so they're not going to crack this plastic with a bit of luck. I've got my me, uh, me Milwaukee rivet gun there. And it just pops them off lovely. And we'll put the other three in. We'll just pull them down. And that is going to be fixed on there and that ain't falling off in a hurry 
Yeah, really pleased. Look at that. That looks a million dollars, doesn't it? You can see the rivets coming through the back of this. They've really took nicely. Good job. Ready to go back on the van. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that one. It's starting to look a real treat. I'm so excited getting it back together again, making it look real beautiful. So, um, yeah, stick with me for the next one. We've got more to come, um, loads more to come. We're going to finish off the front end. We've got to sort out that skanky headlight um, uh, and rebuild it all. We're going to put all the grill and everything back together again. We've got to sort out the front lights. One of the indicators is broken, so we're going to have to do a little repair on that. Um, that's all going to be in next week's episode. So join me then. Loads more to come. Please drop me a little thumbs up. Love your comments. If you've got any comments, just chuck them in the box below. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.